tetrahedral dice a dice with four faces that's a tetrahedral dice usually dice have six faces a tetrahedral dice have four faces two fair tetrahedral die one red and one blue have faces numbered 0 1 2 3 so you have a die which has number 0 1 2 3 so one red so if this is the red die so this is a tetrahedral die so it has four faces so suppose at one face you have zero written on it and another face you have one written on it on the other side you have two written on it at the base you have three written on it and there is another die like this which is blue so similarly here also you have suppose at one face you have zero written on it one face one written on it there are three and then you have two so zero one two three so you have the numbers zero one two three so we have like this we have four numbers now if you think about the probability so altogether there are total of total outcome there are four items four numbers just like throwing a die so if you want to find the probability of zero there's only one zero event is one and altogether there are four numbers four sample space four outcomes so one by four similarly the probability of getting a one is also one by four the probability of getting a two is also one by four the probability of getting a three is also one by four so each of them have the same probability by the basic concept of throwing a die so the dice are rolled and the numbers face down on the two dice recorded it means you just throw the die and you just record the number the random variable r is the score on the red die so r for red red score and the random variable b is the score on the blue die so blue score so question number a says find the probability of on r the score would be 3 and on b the blue score would be 0 no matter what happens each of them have the same probability 1 by 4 so getting a 3 there's only one 3 so 1 by 4 so on the red getting a 3 is 1 by 4 and rule of probability means multiply getting a 0 is also 1 by 4 so this is 1 by 4 if you multiply you get 1 by 16 so the answer for a is 1 by 16 for B you have to complete the table they're saying that the random variable T is R multiplied by B so all we have to do here is we multiply so this one 0 into 0 is 0 this one 2 into 0 is 0 this one r uh, blue is 3 and red is 0 so 0 into 3 is 0 this one 1 into 0 is 0 this one 1 into 1 is 1 so you're just multiplying the score so then 1 into 3 is 3 then 2 into 0 is 0 then 2 into 1 is 2 then 2 into 2 is 4 then 2 into 3 is 6 then 3 into 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 3 is 9 so that's it so we multiplied the uh, scores and this is what we get and this is the random variable t remember we are doing probability distribution table discrete probability distribution to be more accurate this is three marks now comes the main sum so this is the table and this is this is the main sum that we're going to talk about in this particular sum we have to find the probability and we can find the probability from the table here so in question number C we have to find the probability first of all of getting a zero if you count the sample space here they're all together 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11 12 13 14 15 16 so the sample space is 16 so out of that how many times can you get a probability of zero zero is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are seven zeros here so probability of getting a zero is 7 out of 16 1 probability of 1 so how many ones do we have here there's only one one so one out of sample space is 16 so 1 by 16 that is the value of B then 4 how many fours do we have there's only one four so probability of getting a 4 is also 1 by 16 
and then 9 there's also one 9 so probability of getting a 9 is 1 by 16 this is not a regular sum but the concept that we use for this particular uh, discrete probability distribution sum is we have to find the basic probability which means event divided by sample space answer should be restated a equals to 7 by 16 B equals to C equals to D all are equals to 1 by 16